Preston Physics, Grade 11, Electricity and Magnetism, Note 11, The Motor Principle. Now the motor principle is when we put a current carrying wire into a magnetic field that's already there. Now what's going to happen is the wire is going to feel a force either towards the magnetic field or away from the magnetic field. What we use for this a lot of the times is just a U-shaped magnet. It's an easier way to describe the actual magnetic fields and the current going through. So if we look at the diagram below, what we have here is a U-shaped magnet and it's got a current carrying wire. And let's put the current going out of the page and the north being on the top and the south being on the bottom. With the north on the top, the south on the bottom, our field lines go down. With our current coming out of the page, our right hand rule says our field lines should go around to the counterclockwise direction. So now what we actually make is an area of repulsion on the left hand side because the field lines are in the same direction and an area of attraction on the right hand side because the field lines are opposing each other. So what this means is that the wire is going to feel a force to the right and it's going to actually move that way. Now this is how the basics of all motors work. They use this kind of basic principle to make forces and then move different objects. Which way is this wire going to move though in general? Now this is actually our third right hand rule and it's the force rule. So again what we're going to start with is pointing our thumb in the direction of the current. So it's kind of similar to the first right hand rule where we point our thumb in the direction of the current. The second thing though is we're going to straighten our hand out. So we have straightened fingers now and we're going to point those straightened fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So that means from north to the south. So we're pointing our straightened fingers to the south end of that magnet. Now what this creates is our palm facing the direction of the force. So if you look at this next example we're going to have a U-shaped magnet again. We'll have the current coming out of the page again. We'll put north at the bottom this time. So we point our thumb out of the page. We point our fingers up towards the south. And that makes our force go to the left. In the next two diagrams, in the first one, try to predict whether it would be a dot or a cross for the current, knowing the force is going up. And then say where the north and the south poles of the following magnet are current going into the page and our force going to the right. The questions associated with this note are 23 to 25 in your yellow duotangs. 